Hey everyone, welcome back to another tying video here on the channel. Today we're tying up a green butt skunk variation. Uh, the hook we're going to be tying on today is the T106H by Gamagatsu. So really exciting news. We just officially started guiding. So if you're interested in going out on a guided trip with myself and Connor, swinging some steelhead uh, out here in the Pacific Northwest, shoot us an email in the email down below at savageandsmithsteelheadco at gmail.com. Limited spots, they're gonna fill up quick. So if you wanna get in there, go secure your spot. Other than that, here's the video. Starter thread, this is a uh, Beavis 6 off. Piece of Mylar tinsel, tie that in, stop the hook point, thread out of the way. And we're just gonna do down and back. So you're gonna work maybe just onto the bend and then come back. Capture that down, trim the excess. I'm just gonna go in and actually gear over that with a little bit of UV resin. It's hard to tell on camera, but that's just so iridescent and shimmery. Anyway, all right, moving on. We are going to take a piece of red chenille. We're gonna use that as the tail. And tie it just slightly past the length of the hook. I'm gonna work that forward about an eighth of an inch just because I don't want to build up any bulk on the body. And we're going to just put some hot green dubbing for the butt over that anyway. So you won't see this. And then one cool thing you can do, just burn the end of the chenille. It's going to do two things. It's going to prevent the chenille from unraveling. And then also, it creates an eye at the end of the chenille. Trilobal STS chartreuse. That's going to be our green butt. Obviously, feel free to use green chenille whatever green dubbing you prefer. Small dubbing loop, a little bit of wax on the thread. Go ahead and load that dubbing in right down the middle, spread it out a little bit. We're gonna spin that up. And then once you spin it about halfway, get to that, we're gonna roll it up as if we were pinching dubbing onto a thread without a dubbing loop. Tangle all the fibers together so that when we continue to spin it again, it comes into a nice tight thread like that. So we can wrap that up. Should only get about three wraps out of this. All right, moving on. Silver tinsel. This is like half oval, like rounded on one side, flat on the other. And tie that in, length of the fly on the bottom. It's a midnight fusion dub. We're gonna dub that on as the body. Bigger dubbing loop, about four inches long. Now we're just gonna spread that out. On that, about three inches will be enough to dub the body. Now this time, instead of pinching all of those loose fibers, we're gonna leave them open. It's so gonna create a nice webby body. Not that, leave some room before the eye of the hook. You don't need to overcrowd it. Still have some steps to go. So we're gonna take our tinsel. We're gonna wrap that up the body, 16th of an inch between each turn. We're gonna capture that down, a few tight wraps, and trim the excess. Oh, if you really want to, go in with a wire brush at this point. So as we approach spring and summer here in the Pacific Northwest, be switching from bigger intruder style flies, big uh, marabou style flies, and leeches into, you know, slightly smaller stuff. But my transition period will be something like this. This is not traditional. <laughs> this is obviously variant. So I'm going to be tying in a ostrich feather tip. I'm going to palmer this in and you're done. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to use our hackle pliers and just grab that make our lives a little easier and work some of these guys back and just think of this like a saddle hackle like a marabou feather same as always we're just going one wrap right in front of the next okay once you've wrapped that up capture it down we're gonna trim that stem i mean come on how cool does that look awesome now we are going to tie in a small amount of flash i'm gonna use a small amount of this lateral scale in this blue color just to the length of the tail right on top. I'm gonna capture that down a few times. We're gonna take the top, fold it back, create like a slight V shape. So both strands are on top, but they're slightly separated. Could sit however it wants for now, it doesn't matter. I'm doing it a little different. We're gonna use some uh, foxtail instead of bucktail. So I'm gonna start with a small clump of that. You just get the feel for how much you want on yours, how full you want that wing. That would be an extremely full wing. So I'm gonna cut that back, try something like this. That looks a lot better in my opinion. And what we're gonna do is now that we have our length, we're gonna take this and just trim that off. So you already know how long we want it. I'm still holding that, wax the thread. And then using this hand, I'm gonna pinch it, expose some of it. We're just gonna capture it down just as long as we want it. So one loose wrap, another loose wrap, and then pull tight. And just continue to capture that down. And just form a nice small head on this beautiful steelhead snack. 
cure your head with varnish or UV resin. There we have it, variation of the green bus skunk. Last step that you're gonna need to do is smash the like button down below and subscribe for more awesome steel editing videos. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much, later.